actually here to get the music. Usually we'll... Okay, well, you know... I don't get to decide what plays, it's, it's all on random. So then, first noodle stream request. GW is tending to the farm while Stoke Ape is fishing. This is reference to um, me and G playing a lot of Stardew Valley the past three or so weeks. I think the hype is dying, which is lucky because um, we're running out of stuff to do in Stardew. It's gotten to the point where the game expects us to just grind. Like, an obscene amount of money, and there's not really any gameplay anymore. It's like, to get the next goal, you need one million dollars! Like, yeah, okay, well... <laughs> I don't really... What's the reward for that? You get to stop time! Okay. <laughs> we could play something else if you want. I don't mind, though I don't really know what else is there to do. Because I'd hate not- I'd hate to stop when we're like on the cusp of something great. But I really don't know. I know less than you do. Yeah, I don't really think about it right now. Don't really think about it, Rotney. Rotney. Can you see the Really all there is, is house upgrades and those wizard builds, and they're all very expensive. We can give it a rest for a time. I get the itch, some to be good. Eating lots of gooboos, I hear they're good for you. At least until they release another major update. I'm never really going to get rid of that save either. It's a good save. It's a good save. Hey. Forget about the rain, except the rain is actually not as bad as you think it is, just because the ground cloud will grey. Listen, I know these things, I am better. Can you feel it? Ooh hoo. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh. <laughs> Pencil. Oh, did I do that already? I wasn't paying attention.
that okay? Yeah, it's fine. It conveys. It'll just be some uh, carrots, I suppose. I'm not really sure what crop that would have been, but I, mean, I guess that could be a parsnip. Doesn't look quite right. Grass that thick. There we go. Big fucking parsnip. Also, the crops in Stardew are giant. I know it's like an icon for you to see, but when your character's running around with like a potato or a parsnip, it's like the size of their head. <laughs> it's fucking colossal. So you know that's that's game accurate. I've seen the images of giant crops before. Um, I know there's like a competition. Well, not really a competition, but more of like a uh, a, a meta community where they want, where people get together and try to make the the biggest version of that crop. I see it with pumpkins all the time. They got these pumpkins that are like the size of a fucking car. It's uh, it's really cool. Now imagine for one moment the size of pumpkin car. You can't imagine how big. Yes. Good. Let's see, if you're, hold on, if you're like that, then you're... I think I've done this right. Looks all right. That's look. That, that's not so bad. Yeah, we got it. Nice. And then I'm gonna have like the perspective is gonna be. Uh, I'm thirsty. I need some way away. Ok, 
Okay, and then uh, actually, what we can do with you is move you up. Dodali, wait, Dodali, da, Dodali, da, Dodali, da, Dodali, da, Dodali, da, Dodali. Da. Rise, fucking having a panic attack again. Give him the pills. Oh. How much money would I have to give you to run into some like tribe and scream that over and over again? Yeah, that's good. And then... Croizen. Nice. Move this over mule. And that will be however big I want it to be. into a forest and you hear these drums and you also hear a man going <laughs> in the far background what do you do where that meets. Probably shouldn't have done that, but it's fine. It's only lines at the moment, it's not exactly. Uh
Oh, I've got some news. It's not that... It's not really important news, it really is just personal hobby stuff, but it shows progress. Um, I've been working on, like, personal home exercises and stuff like that. And I have these exercise grips. They're, uh, they're used for, you know, exercising your grip. And I broke one. <laughs> Um, so I don't know if that means I'm getting stronger or those grips were faulty, but either way, I think that's, <laughs> I think that's something, something to think about. Luckily when you buy gri strength grip things, you get two, one for each hand, but the thing is you don't really need both, you just, you know, swap hand. So luckily I have one left. But I've had these things for like six years now, so I don't know if it's because they're old or I'm just heckin' swall. I don't know. If anything, I've got a strong hand. Watch out, guys. Ring me or block me, I'll accept both. So we got G tending to the parsnip field. And he's systematically plucking them all. He's working his way left to right. Uh, we'll have me here fucking around with some fish with the path going <laughs> Before you got the mega scythe, yeah, exactly. Before it was just. <laughs> and then to make it nice, we'll have both of our houses here. It'd be a nice picture. So let's do me, because that'll be the harder thing to do and then the rest will be easy. the iron grip. I really should, because I don't, uh, when I do these, ex when I do these grip exercises, I just, I do, I keep going until I, I feel the slightest bit of pain in my palm, which is fine, as, as long as you don't overdo it, like I don't strain anything, but the slightest pain is good because that's your body saying, hey, that's enough, and as long as you listen to your body, you make progress. But I've never... I don't know how far I can push it, because these grips... These particular grips are standard. They hold a, um... A, a standard 50 PSI, which is like, grip pressure. But you can buy ones that go up to 80. I've seen ones that you can buy up to 200. And I've been wondering if I should upgrade, because I've been using these ones for six years, and, um... You know, it's not... <laughs> But then again, I don't really need a strong grip, you know, I'm not a fucking ice climber. I don't need... <laughs> don't need it. But, uh, maybe I should invest in some slightly better ones. Well, not better ones, but stronger ones. Seems all these only got one left. A lot of me grips. They're good, um stress relievers too. If something really pisses me off, I can just grab them and go <laughs> and just blast through a bunch of reps. It's the Biscoff theme. It's when somebody tries Biscoff for the first time and goes, this is not bad. But then they go, I don't want a whole tub of this. And that's when the Biscoff bot comes out of nowhere 
and chases them down. This mouse, because I'm using a new mouse by the way, and it's been last, uh, this is the first stream, first doodle stream I'm using the new mouse with, and I've noticed it's slightly more, it is slightly more sensitive than the other one, it's throwing me off, but uh, let's keep going with it, you never know. This will be good. I should stream a Shantae game someday. Did I say game or gay? My brain says I said gay. Ashante gay. Whatever. Uh, I was originally just going to have it so I was just concentrating on fishing, but I like the idea that I was trying to fish and now my rod is in the water and I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> fucking <that> was... <laughs> shit. <laughs> later I need to get the shape right that's not how feet that's not how feet either this done how do you feet I 
the fuck is that? Headstone! <laughs> Rip. Rip feet. We were supposed to put headbang. <laughs> oh, you got feet. Oh, not feet. You got headstones. Fucking feet on the brain. Jeez. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, there we go. Although, if you look at this right, if you look at this just right, it kind of looks like a mermaid tail. <laughs> it kind of, because it looks like a little flipper. <laughs> Stoke maid. Mer Stoke. If you type head, the headstone at the bottom of the list accidentally checked it. Rip stream. I'm gonna leave that, that's fun. Fuck me, what's wrong with my steady hand today? There it is. I've started work on the new Lemmings uh, pack. I'm going to make this one public. Because the other one was the other ones were for Rai, but the ones that Rai was having trouble with, I'm going to recycle into the new pack because I think. The public would really appreciate. Definitely the clue, <laughs> the big oven stage. I think there's there's a couple. There's the big oven rebuild on the one you're stuck on right now. Well, I say stuck. The one that you're the one that you are on. I won't say stuck because you've probably got an idea of what to do. And there was another one. There was another one that... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Three-Way. Three-Way was a fun one as well. Those those four are going to be recycled. Lemming D nuts. <laughs> you are wish the joke. Also, this levels pack is going to have custom toils, custom objects. But it's not original. So that's my hint. And don't expect it for a fucking millennium either. Because <laughs> unlike the ones I made for Rai that I managed to pump out in two weeks, um, I realized how exhausting that was, so now I'm just going to take my time. So, who knows when it'll come out. There we go. <laughs> I tried to fish and I fucked up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
The sound of Nebula. Okay, that's enough. I need to stop making those jokes. It's not... I didn't even finish the joke. It was just... It was funny for like a day. He would be a legit upset. Yeah, exactly. It's enough. It's enough. The jokes are just... It was funny for one day. Now we can't just fucking... Can't keep going. You know what? Skip the song. It's a disrespect. What song is this? I don't know what this song is. Skip? I don't know what the fuck this is. Skip. There we go! That's something people recognize. these two now. Whoops. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, that's not looking too bad at all. Put some tufts of grass here and there. I know in Stardew Valley you don't have a field of green, like it's it is it is all dirt with bits of green on it. But for this image, I am going to include a lawn with tufts of grass. Hey, that's something you could do, concerned ape. Give us a lawn. Give us. Hey, that. Oh. Wait, hold on. That just gave me a fucking brain burst. Give us lawn terrain where we could like create a big piece of grass, but these lawn terrains have special properties. These lawns have a random chance of spawning wild flowers that you don't need to seed. And okay, what else can they do? There was another idea in my head along with the wild flowers. That would be a good idea for Stardew Valley. Oh, yeah, that was it. I don't know why that didn't go into my head. Uh, I know you can already plant, like, seasonal seeds to get forageables, but... Oh my god, this music. But uh, why not also make the lawn have it so that it has a random chance to spawn forageables? I think that would kick ass. Kind of like what the forest does. Oops. Hello. One nebula. Okay, fucking holy shit. I need to stop putting such voluptuous songs in my playlist. Skip. Yeah, this one's better. You had stomach cramp, but you survived. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. I think one of the ultimate farm layouts spawns forageables, so technically that already is a thing. Yeah, it's the forest, um, the forest farm. But what if you could do that for any farm with the special lawn terrain? can already craft seeds and grow forageables, so that feels redundant. 
I also, b before you got here, Pep, I also mentioned that the lawn could uh, randomly spawn flowers as well. I need to look up what the f houses look like. And I was thinking maybe another use it could have for spawning forageables. But, uh... Stardew House. I put Stardew Horse and it still gave me a house, wow. You're on you're on board with the flower lawn immediately? Oh sick. Ape is a bit pissed that two years in a row we got the leak quest and barely any leaks spawned. It was fucking stupid! Fucking <laughs> We need leaks. Okay, great, let me just go find them out the nowhere. Fuck you! Rarest drop my ass. Whole summer we got like five of them. Spring. You were too busy dying to come on stream immediately. It's fine. No worries. No worries. My cherry blossom curry. Don't eat that, it's not good for you. Ah! These songs sure like to, uh, decide how loud they want to be on their own. <laughs> My house is a bit warped. <laughs> it's... It's... <laughs> Whatever, fuck it. The Stardew House has seen better days. The spread is all right. Dies immediately. Nah, that's not funny. It's hard to be funny with this music playing. Is right, the hazel nut kind of ruins it, makes it taste more like nitty 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 nitty. Yeah, Rai is correct about a lot of weird shit, and we all should start paying attention to him more. The end. That's <laughs> just that's the um, that, that's the. I just that's the opposites of Raya's crazy stinky and needs to be stopped. Raya's correct about a lot of weird shit and we all need to listen to him more. <laughs> Meme reversed, we've come full circle. Um, I've forgotten the name of the other house. The one that the multiplayer guys can stay in, not your house, because I'm trying to find the design of it. Shack, is it? No, that's not it. It's not Shed. Do I really have to look up the wiki to find this? 
Don't want to. Farm building. Bon coop, big ass deluxe coop shed. Cabin! Found it. They're called cabins. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I gave you... Which design did I give you? I gave you that one. There. Doodle's looking very nice so far. It's one of the more aesthetically pleasing doodles I've done in recent years. It's a nice change to where uh, guy falls over and farts. Oh god, speaking of guy falls over and farts, he's getting back up and he's pissed. You finished all of your work before you came here. I think you can take a week off. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. not bad. It could do with a bit of but you know I'm more or less done. Let's colour this in. It's you get the gist. You get the goobs.
Oh no, wait, we have planks. I just realized, I just remembered, we have planks on our farm. Looks over, we have planks on our farm. Looks over, we have planks on our farm. Let's make it a different brown and I'll add in bits later. some more uh, definition to this building otherwise it's gonna look strange the wood is creamy white but the everything else is red so <laughs> <It's> <laughs> this is not good whatever it's working if this was the colour scheme or not. <laughs> Whatever, pocket. Same goes for mine though, I have no idea what the colour scheme was. I know I remembered blobs of the colour, but that's about it. And I don't really care much to find out what they were. I'll just make it the same as the other one. At least then there's some kind of unity. Unity! Your FNAF U2's figurine came in today, yay! You ordered the figurine of Glitchtrap to cope with them squashing him. Squash! Imagine getting squashed. <laughs> the previous one. That ended just now. Oh, what's that song from? The one that just ended just now? I wonder if I can go back. I can. It's called The Theme of Darkness from Balan Wonderworld. <laughs> A giant GW comes into the farm and fucks everything up. What do? 
trick question, there's nothing you can do. Just sort of let it happen. It was the one balance song you didn't really listen to, so of course you don't remember. So of course you don't. Glad you know that when I decide to fork everything up, there's no stopping me. source of what shoes you're wearing so I'm just kind of gonna go with something like this maybe to match a red yeah I don't know we have no shoe reference we've run out of shoe references My floating disembodied head as a collectible for a game someday. Fishing pole needs doing. You wear red. I'm not giving you Crocs. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Crocs, it's just more work for me. You going to try and do a doodle stream next month too? I just need to. Uh, I just have the crippling fear that if I accept a request, someone's going to ask for a meme. Oh, God, say that. So, right. How did you do it last time? Do you remember? I remember a similar stream to that, but then again, I think everybody was just asking for normal things. People had to donate money. Is that true? Was it a money fund? I don't remember spending money. It was. Well, that damn shows what I know. Dun, dun, dun. I think. I believe it. Finished. The sky says Ebok. It doesn't. I'm sure you donated to have Pep Doodle your favorite Digimon. I'm pretty sh I think you're right. My brain not good. Done. Of course, one star. Do you funny? Hmm. 
You did have to donate, okay. Shows what I know. Also, I forgot to I forgot a tiny bit. did put up a hefty money fee so it would have filtered out the memes but you never know so true uh, where it started you funny where did I put that river there it is do you want to save over this yes I do okay cool that's one done Okay, the next one is uh, Green Dude, GW, and Stokape as the Ghostbusters from that old TV show <laughs> by Green Dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. One moment. <laughs> the ghost bust. The Ghostbusters. Not the Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters. an animated version of this that would be easier to um, although it would be funnier if we did <laughs> we did another classic trace over it with, hum with realistic human proportions. Hold on, tell me what you think. Okay, well, you can choose to do that if you like, but we can also choose to take what we want and not give anything back. There we go. Okay, okay, deleting that source forever. <laughs> IMDB is a pile of shit. What the hell is... That was weird. A bunch of Arabic just showed up on my screen. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> who would be who, though? I mean, obviously that's, you know... I'm... The Munk. But who would Green and GW be? I've got a feeling that GW would be the one in the hat. Hey Green, good timing, we're about to do your doodle. <laughs> so, let me think here. the one in the hats they're all wearing hats i was saying g would be this one and i don't know why this guy The guy in the middle has uh, a green hat though. That's true. Yeah, okay, we've got the uh, We've got the cast, we've got it. 
Now it's time for some, uh... Okay, well, the ghost of my machine is still alive, it seems. Let's do some hyper-realistic sketch drawing. Everybody loves these. Everybody loves these. Not to mention they're easy on me, because I don't have to think. I just have to trace over lines, but everybody loves these. I'll just turn my brain off, it's great. This mouth. <laughs> oh no, this is going to look terrifying. Soon enough, I'll be able to redeem a funny thing. It better be funny. You've bigged it up now, you said it would be funny. It better be funny. We're all counting on you. You shouldn't have said anything. Because now we're all looking to you. We're all looking to you for when you finally redeem. We're going to be like, is this funny? Oh, you've done it now. You've dug yourself a hole. And I don't know about you, but I'm a connoisseur of funny. Here's my credentials. <laughs> Music plays. This is the kind of music that plays when you're ready to not stop at nothing. And when nothing comes stop, not a knocking, that's when you're ready. Oh, hold on to your seats, kids. It's time for Rob Knocker's 46 Extravaganza. out so fucking cursed but I love it Tracy that's the name of the mod gorilla Brain was staring at the monkey and I was like, fuck. 
fucking Terry? No. Terrence? Teak? The fuck is the name? It's in. It looks, it always looks so fucking. <laughs> I love doing these realistic traces. They're so funny. It's never what you expect. <laughs> fucking stupid. Something I don't like about this actor, he's somehow managed to open his eyes so wide that his irises are floating in the middle. That takes a lot of strain. That ain't normal. Shouldn't be able to do that, and yet here he is. Oh my god, look at him now. <laughs> no! No! Fuck. <laughs> okay, we should um, start doing the others because uh, these two overlap a little. So before I come back. I should start up here again. <laughs> oh dear God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Somebody call a sermon. This guy has shifty eyes. This guy is up to all sorts, he's up to all evils. He won't tell you which ones though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Pause. This guy has double chins, but they come out on the side. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's something you don't notice until you start doing line drawing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I got double chins, but only on the side of me. It's not that mysterious. What, double chins? He puts fear into me when I... He puts fear into me when I, when I sketch human faces. Looks like he's about to sell you some real estate. Hey, I got some prime real estate for you. Smells real good. He has some cheek and neck fat, but his face is stretched out uh, in that smile and he's moving jawbone overlaps. <laughs> That's so strange! I've never seen a face like that. I've never seen a face quite like yours, Georgie! Forgive me for pointing, but I've never seen a face like yours! <laughs> yes. Fuck yes. And the cheek scheme is stretched slightly down from his cheekbones as the jaw is open, causing it to look folded like that. That's so bizarre, it's cool though. For some reason, this reminds you you should be responsible and do some anatomy study. Well, that's not so hard, you just sort of look at this fucking guy and then look at this ape and then you've got it. I don't know. Imagine that's how it worked. Imagine how easy that would be. Okay, class, I just need you to look at this human. And then look at this ape. And you're done. Go home. Is that, is that really it? Yep, that's all anatomy study is. I would say see you next week, but you're pretty much done the module. I don't know where his hat begins. I'm gonna have to just make it up. Yeah, it looks okay. That's fine. I'm lazy and I don't do enough art studying at all. Teacher, what about the... <laughs> we don't talk about those. It looks great! I'll teach you some free anatomy. Not for people, though. Get ready for this. Human hands. 
We know them well. Even a crudely drawn human hand like this, you can recognize it's human. But how do you make a hand look like an ape's? Ape's hands are the same, though slightly different. <laughs> ape's hands do this. There's the wrist. And when you get to the joint where you would normally see the finger stretch for the palm, stretch it out a bit further. Further than you would imagine where the palm would be. The thumb, however, still does stay down here. And something about chimp hands and fingers is that they taper. Palm is way longer. Remember to always taper chimp hands, chimp fingers. That's pretty much it, really. They're just longer and they taper, that's all. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you for putting up with this free education. <sighs> I'm gonna go eat a big bowl of ice cream. <laughs> the hands for grabbing. <laughs> Does anybody know what this is? The hand is for grabbing. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're kind of hoping to be able to get really good at drawing horses since they're both notoriously difficult and, and in high demand. They're basically the gateway being able to draw any quadrupedal animal. Ah, so that's why you were retweeting those. Oh God, not retweeting, reposting those anatomy things. I did wonder. It's like, this is a foot! This is a paw! This is a fucking weird mutant, but it's a horse leg, actually. It's like, fucking hell. Somebody told me, I think I've said this on stream before, but somebody once told me something about horses that freaked me out that I can't unsee now. A horse is just a big hand. <laughs> I'll tell you why. <laughs> okay. So, a horse's leg is lit, did it. Something like that. So, in people terms, let's see now. Okay, so in people terms, this would be our ankle. This. Sorry, this would be our ankle. This would be the part of our body where the fingers begin. This is the finger. That is one joint. That's another joint. And that's the tip. And this is pretty much just the, 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 uh, what do you call it? The wrist. So, but the thing is, the bones are in such a way that they're fused together into one digit. So that means this is just one giant finger. And it has four of them. You see where we're going? <laughs> Horses are just big hands. That run around in fields. Now, I want somebody to draw me a horse 
and replace their legs with human fingers. I want that. And better yet, I'll pay you a fortune if you can animate it for me. Do centaurs have four sets of organs? Yeah, they've got like five stomachs like cows. Reposted some of your favorite tips and tips and tips and tips and tips and tips and you can use door handles with your feet. Stop doing that. You got me. <laughs> Horses are just walking hands. Oh, that's so gross, but it's true. Thank you, GFB Comics. Also, you know the term fortune? It's like, I'll pay you a fortune! Turns out that doesn't mean shit. Um, that term to be, I'll pay you a fortune! Uh, only really refers to a... a grand sum. And that grand sum varies. So, <laughs> I could say I'll pay you a fortune to a mouse. And I'll just be a shit ton of cheese. Which would probably be nothing to me. It's, um, it's a strange thing. I'll pay you a small fortune. I'll pay you a big fortune. I'll pay you a medium fortune. Oh my god, so many options. Where does it end? Hey Pep! Centaurs are fancy- <laughs> Do you think they have more organs? No, they don't exist. <laughs> Pep, do you know about Bino? How do you write it? Uh, B-E-N I think it's Bino as in a bean? Let me check. Yeah, Bino as in bean and then just an O at the end. Bino. Doesn't sound familiar. It is a British comic. I don't know if it's still going. I hope it isn't. But it um it it bought the likeness to Dennis the Menace originally. And it started doing loads of comics with that stuff. But the thing is, the characters of Beano are fucking ugly. Really fucking ugly. Um, the only one that probably stands out uh, from being not ugly is Dan the Dangerous. And that's probably because he's given a real human face as, com as uh, compared to the others which are just like these fucking nasty, disgusting creatures. But stay hypothetical, centaurs did exist. How would you think their internal organs work? Like a cow's, they just have loads of the same organ, and also a, um... They would have a three-chambered heart as opposed to two. Like a camel's. You have something horrible that you need to hate, but I... <laughs> that you will hate, but I gotta show you. Are you gonna send it me on Discord? 
Or are you going to share it on the chat? You can do either, links are open. Disquad? Disquad? Disquibby? Disquibbly? Disquad? Oh, hold on. Starcape as Squidward as the crusty crab cashier whilst Raimani is Spongebob and offers him an order of patties through the window. That could be cute. Have you sent me the thing? I don't, I don't think so. Oh wait, there it is. Music stop? I don't know if I should show this. <laughs> Hold on, I think... I think I might know where this is going. Hold on, let me... Here it show. No! Shh, shh. Stop. Control yourself. Uh, okay. What the freak? What's happened to us? I don't know, but certainly I feel all Sigma and Skibbity and Rizzy. It seems we're in a universe where everything is drawn by Max Design Pro. Look, there's our digital circus. <laughs> Look how we grin and shake. Stewie and Brian, you're just in time for cat. Did somebody say cat? <coughs> it's a wonderful day for cat. You can ask all the eggs in the sky, and they'll raise your old sweet with a musical seat. It's a wonderful day for cat. For cat. For cat. Forgot. Forgot. <laughs> this is retro, Brian. Well, let's live in this pizza tower. It's pretty Friday Night Funkin', isn't it? I want to hear more music about Gyat. Oh my Christ. It's a wonderful day for Gyat. And it means a lot better than I. This Sonic Prime House. And this Kaiser Nat Mouse. The Bees Mewing Honey. This Phantom Pax Bunny. We all sing with Skiddy, cause we all pee It's a wonderful, wonderful day for God. Y'all want a big juicy Pepino to put in that yacht? No! Brian, can we spend the rest of our Among Us here? It's peak. Sounds dingling to me. Doesn't seem to be a turkey tongue wrong with this place. Hello, everybody. Cameraman. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot this is Max Design Pro Universe. Oh, but look how shiny my nuggets are. Just hit the. Oh yeah, yeah, all right, I'll hit the thing. Oh my lord, how long did they spend on that? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I hated that, you're right. Everyone's freaking out, fucking hell. Oh god. Let me catch up on a lot of shit. There's a huge resurgence of Horrid Henry stuff <laughs> a little while back. If you're thinking of making a double request again recently, I bet at least two of them are unintentionally really difficult to draw. With any luck. You really hate <laughs> you hate this with every fiber you've been. Did they redub this? I think this was ordinary dubbed. I didn't notice any irregularities in the audio. I think this was human. The animation's from a real episode, Rai. That's a real episode. You know that they shall one year for a day for a pie. That's that's a real episode. Real episode. Real scene, real animation. There's a watermark. Which means it was redubbed. I think this animation is yeah, it is from a real family guy. 
real episode. I can't believe Rai has never seen it. So wonderful, yay for Bri. We've shown you the real one before on stream. Rai eeps and flows during these streams. It's like a, it's like a hummingbird. It comes in for the sugar, but then leaves. Rai lives in the sauna. There's no internet there. Eep and low, splatoon bepody. You remember seeing it, but it was normally found the garden. Not this dumb blue shit. I think it's interesting that they set out to parody Disney, but the animation in the pie scene is so darn blue. I wonder if that was a fuck up or intentional. Don Bluth did work for Disney though. That's the thing. Don Bluth made a lot of early Disney stuff. So it's, you're right though. I mean, Don Bluth is Disney. So it's, I get, I, I don't really, know. yes, yes and no. Yes, no, and, and, I don't know. It's not the same, I, how do you know? I look at Little Mermaid and I look at a Don Bluth cartoon and I go, that's the same. It's not the same at all, what the fuck? You kidding me? This is peak Brian, let's live in Pizza Tower. Also weird how Peak is coming back. That is, that is not a, a Gen Alpha saying. That is, people were saying. You see, people were saying that in the late nineties. People have started saying, um, not Riz. Uh, fuck. Uh, God damn it. There's an old fucking term for, well, rizzing, but not the same. It's gone from my brain. But people used it in the goddamn 70s and people started saying it again. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? It's a wonderful day, forget. I'm going to head for the shout here. That's, that doesn't rhyme right. Doing it wrong. You've been having a really difficult time on the internet lately because I don't understand what people are freaking saying. Let's get off this topic. It's a weird how Skibbity came back. People used to say that back in the old 80s. They did! They used to say Skibbity, Bop, the Doo Wop, Gup Gup. Wait, that might be a 60s thing. I think Skib. Wait, is Skibbity 60s? Wait, I need to say. Skibbity, the original song. No, not that one. <laughs> not the one from 2018. Oh my god, the Google is broken. Okay. I think Google is completely fucked because uh, I type in Skibbity original word and all I get is the toilet. Okay, uh, if anybody can actually find out where the word Skibbity comes from. Because Google has completely... Google's completely fallen on its face and is dead. There's no recovery, it's fucked. It's 100% fucked. Nineteen sixties. Use of the word skibbity.
I'm not going to find out on this search engine. Google's completely fucked. Jesus goddamn Christ, it's completely gone. Oh well. Don't don't try looking for where Skibbity comes from on Google. You'll there's no there's nothing. It's just it's nothing. It's gone. But it's somehow that word has just broken the engine. It's pretty impressive. Depends on the scatting was popular. <laughs> you just made that up. That's true though. Skibbity's a fucking old word. Skibbity dup a doo up a dup dup. I say 60s because that's when the blues kicked in. In America, 1960s, that's when the blues became popular. So if the blues became popular, then jazz would to follow. And then you got the scat song, the skibbity bap a doo up a dup dup. That's why I typed in 1960s Skibbity, because I was thinking maybe there'll be a blues song with Skibbity Babadoo Up Dub. But no. Nothing. Google search engine is completely fucked. It has gotten worse the past couple of years, possibly because switched to mostly AI. Yeesh. Scott Jones said Skibbity, but I forget if that song came out. 60s does sound like the right ear. I need to find this out, because I swear Skibbity is an old word used in an old song from that time period when jazz became big, which was the 60s in America. I don't think Google wants me to know. I think this is con it's a conspiracy, guys. Because I couldn't find it, that means it must be the government. There's no other solution. I think it's just typical scatting melody, but I, uh, it might not have further meaning. I don't think it's got any meaning at all, it's just a funny word. Louise Armstrong definitely said it. <laughs> I like the definitely, he definitely said it. <laughs> There's no fucking way he didn't. <laughs> Man, I want to listen to some old jazz now. I don't have any jazz on here, but... I might have something close. Let's see. Nope. Nope. No. Definitely not. No. That's that's punk. That's funk. That's dunk. Lemmings. Moomins. You know what? Just whatever. <laughs> Carry on. I like Frank. He said it when he became the first man on the moon. <laughs> he got out of his space pod and he went. And then they were like, just leave him on the moon. Just leave him on the moon. No, we can't fucking do that. Can't leave him on the goddamn moon. I know what he said wasn't yet, but we have to leave him on the moon. You like funk too? Skibbity bop. Skibbity doo bop. Boppity boop. Skip. Fucking hell. What am I doing? <laughs> Just. You gave me your job. You gave me your job. You gave me your job. Fuck yes. 
<laughs> this is terrifying. I'll find out the origin, not the origins, but the an early record of Skibbity. I saw a scary ghost video yesterday of this little girl. The end. Nah. I saw a scary video yesterday of this little of this little goyle, and she was showing off her Skibbity toilet plushie collection, and uh, then something really spooky happened. Uh, she started to look up and she started like I don't know she froze in place it was kind of scary and she got up and ran away and when she got up and ran away something black darted across the camera uh, very scoopy very scoopy video very scoopy but I just like how this the video started with this is my skibbity toilet collection I got a plushie from Walmart I got a plushie from Babel. Good kid. I got a plushie from Walmart. I got a wee 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 wee. Skibbity skibbity doo wop wee wop wop wop. Louise sings, what a skibbity world. What a skibbity world. <laughs> Whoa. I'm on the moon. Okay, fuck you. I wish I had the, the, the I wish I had the uh, the drive to animate because I'd love to <laughs> I'd love to make a shitty little animation of <laughs> Louise Armstrong on the moon singing what a skibbity world and it's just the reference is lost because nobody knows what the hell's going on You're too afraid to listen to anyone who started making music in the past couple of years, but it has led you down some really fun old music rabbit holes. <laughs> old music is fun. <laughs> yeah, I see. Riz or something, I don't know. Fuck. Who gives a flip? Both of these doodles have taken a hell of a long time to get going, but... Whatever. I don't know whether we are evolving or de-evolving. <laughs> of course we're evolving. You don't listen to music? I beg to differ. You hear music, it goes in one ear, but it never reaches your brain, I don't think. <laughs> it's just a hole. And I beg music listener in general, but lately you've been listening to music. There's a lot of tunes out there that are really fucking good that they get completely buried by some of the nonsense that's out there. Most of the musical talent is in the game industry, really. It's kind of scary.
dank tunes. Japanese easy listening is one of the best. Erg. Uh, I don't know Japanese, so it's difficult to find more artists who make music in that genre. Oh, that's a that's a good point. A gorilla with human eyes, everybody. you've started shared this before uh, you've been to a few gigs saw the prodigy a decade ago prodigy is good did you know the prodigy were offered a 10 million dollar deal back in the day to do some exclusive stuff for i i forget which record company it was but it was one of the big bastards and they turned it down and i was just like Good, good stuff. You're one of the good ones. They just wanted to make music. They didn't... They they had enough following as it was. They didn't need more money. They just wanted to make music. Most Brit songs in English is because the composer wanted Japanese audiences to focus on uh, not too much on what the lyrics are saying. Yeah, for real. If yeah, for real. You have mentioned that before, but still good. I'm back! Right, when is the Scoop Kick OST coming to the public? It really reads. <laughs> I really need to release that. I keep forgetting. Stop forgetting, please. Stop forgetting, because I need to show people the fucking... You know how hard it is to find that shit online? People need to hear Toy March, damn it. Remind you later. Fuck, I'm fine. <laughs> fucking... I want people to hear Toy March, and then I want people to start remixing it. In like... All sorts of weird versions like CPS3, Mega Drive sound font, real instruments like electronics. Could you imagine Toy March with fucking grunge guitar? <laughs> Fuck yes! Holy shit! I'm sorry, I'm, I'm excited on your behalf. You listen to the no you listen to the noides early two thousand hip hop, and you also listen to heavy metal and classic rock. Your music taste is all over the place. I think that's a healthy place to be. I think, I think knowing what you like is a very good thing because at least then you've got a comfort place to go. But I think having tastes that kind of flop in different places is also good. Though that's, it's a sticky place to be because um. To find that, you're gonna have to go into a genre that you know mostly has stuff you don't like. So it's a, it's a, it's an uphill battle. But uh, I can attest, though. I uh, 
I think rap is really boring. I think rap is just the lazy version of hip hop. Because you don't, there's no pace, there's no tone, and there's no rhythm. It's just people complaining. Um, but there was one rap song I found once upon a time that I was like, oh fuck, this actually is going places. Rap is the disgruntled and miserable offspring of hip hop. And it's pretty all over the place too. I think it's a good place to be. You like grunge metal, Pearl Jam, a foot. <laughs> Sound gun. I don't know why, but I read that as SpongeBob. <laughs> I like grunge metal, Pearl Jam, SpongeBob OST, you know. <laughs> I'm all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to that shit in the car, dude. Blast that fucker. <laughs> You're actually finding great success in listening to some contemporary music but then gen ai happened oh i got very confused there and then you got scared only look into contemporary artists if they have ver ver verified their music for years already or that someone trustworthy is vouching for the being actually uh musicians yeah ai is really fucking everything over um But it's also, it'll also fix itself. Because uh, it's, it's already happened in the art industry. Um, but it'll, so it'll happen everywhere else, so I'm confident that it will fix itself. Uh, because all of these AI artists, all of their sources are starting to ricochet back. So all of the art is now starting to look like every other AI artist's art. And they don't like it. They don't like that that's happening. And I said that was going to happen. Because if you've got a giant pool that all of these AI artists are squirting their crap into, eventually the slop's going to be the same colour. Because there's no filter. And there's not going to be. Because no one's organised such a thing. So eventually AI is going to stop because imagination is something that only people can have because we're fucking weird mutants that have that ability. A robot can only do what it's been referenced to and eventually the references are gonna blur together so there's nothing... It's nothing. That's why it's stupid. That's why the whole AI movement is fucking dumb because it has nowhere to go. It can't evolve. It's incapable. Don't, don't worry, AI bubble will soon burst, it sure will. I don't know when, it might take longer, it might take less time, but it's on its way out. We've already seen the symptoms of it crumbling. Like all fads, just... It's all nothing. Just a big pile of fucking nothing. Botany Valley, Valley, Botany Manor is fucking brilliant. Good gardening puzzle game. Botany Manor. I'll look into that. Someone recommended Botany Manor to you recently. It caught you off guard uh, with the art style. It's really relaxing. Botany Manor. If you don't mind, could you post a page to Botany Manor somewhere in Discord, please? Doesn't matter if it's a page to the game itself, just like. Like a, an article would do. I just need like a uh, 
a thing, a uh, a lead to it, so I can take a look. Uh, reward yourself for the big payday by buying some gummies. The Yakuza games are on sale on Steam. I don't need to buy him. <laughs> Approaches wallet. Uh, can you buy judgment for me? Pep, you just got paid, like, multiple times. I'll link it. Buy your own game. <laughs> just doesn't listen. <laughs> buy a game for me. I'm not doing that for you. Let me just send you the link. <laughs> Yeah, buy a get buy her a game, right? You'd be fucking mean, dude. What's happening to the song? <laughs> the fuck? I'm skipping this. The guy's dying. Some guy wheezing. Just like the wind. Just like the wind. Ew. Oh no, you meant that. <laughs> On Discord, I see. Why did you have the Neverhood soundtrack on here? You always skip. <laughs> it keeps me on my toes. It remind it's a, it's a nice reminder to never be 100% relaxed. You've got to be like a, like a ferret, you know. You've got You got to be flexible. You got to remember that some things you don't like are gonna happen. And you're not going to stop those bad things from happening. So the next best thing you got to you can do is just be ready. I used to know somebody had a couple of pet ferrets. They were fucking evil. They would run up to you, bite your toes, and run away. And because they were made out of water, you couldn't grab on them. They just slip out your hands real quick. Wheezing, Weezer, Loafing, Loafer. I already bought too many games. Can't buy more now. I gotta wait for the the slippery summer sale. Yes. How's this look now? <laughs> God. <laughs> Both Gugmunk and Lost Gugmunk of sixty percent off. I think I saw that sale myself. Oof. If you ever feel safe, remember he's out there. Who? Who's out there? Right? I know he's out there. And I've stopped being afraid of that. That's a phobia I got over real quick. It's called ribophobia, and it's something I made up just now.
I like the way the song sounds, but its lyrics are fucking wacky. There's a lot of things out there. Thing number one, this beetle. Thing number two, also another beetle. Thing number four, three and five. All beetles, all jasmine beetles living on this rose. Thing number seven, worm. Ah, God! Fuck me, that... That made my legs jump, gee... <laughs> hello, hello! Is he squeezing his nipple? I'm not kidding. No, I don't think it is. I think that's just how the suit is morphed. It... It looked like it for a moment. Yeah, it's definitely how the suit is morphed. Okay, that's... Still... Can't help but wonder. There's a rare bird in our yard today. We caught him. We called him Chili Bird. Didn't last long. Buried him out back. Okay, what's the what's the rare bird? <laughs> Ignore my stupidness. We didn't get any good picks, but hopefully it'll return. It was a half... a howfinch. Never heard of something like that. A howfinch. Heep. Speaking of wildlife in the gardens, I don't know if any of you have seen it, but I posted a small video of a hedgehog in the garden. It got real close to the camera, and it made snooty snoot noises. It's fucking cute. Okay, after a week, we got something. It has a distinct large beak it can use to crush cherry seeds. Oh my god. That's lucky, I've got a shit ton of cherry seeds. Seeds. Cherry cherry.
I'm sitting on an old bucket full of cherry seeds. The day has rolled over in Japan. Kirby's birthday is rolling in. Oh my god, it's Kirby's birthday, dude. Everybody have something pink ready. Doesn't matter what it is. It's like St. Patrick's Day. You just gotta have something green ready. But in this case, have something pink. I don't have anything pink. Uh... I know I own pink things. Oh, yeah, I do. There you go. Easy. Wasn't too hard. Why did I do it that way? Try again. Wanted. There we go. The 27th of April is Kerbu's birthday. Kerbu. Did you know that Kirby is actually a slang for something really not real? True on Snoops. Little beer, bro. I have a Kirby hint for you all. If you leave a burger underneath your pillow on Kirby's birthday, he will not show up and you'll have a rotten burger under your pillow when you wake up. get a waddle dee instead Arr! oh my god yeah you'll get a waddle dee and this music plays fuck i didn't mean anything by it sir Oh, I missed the fucking thing from the... T okay, I can scribble that in, that's fine. No worries. You know, Clonoa 2 is going to be forever ruined for me, because, um... I remember way back when I tried to stream Clonoa 2. Way before the collection came out. And the emulation for it wasn't perfect. So, what ended up happening was... There were three spots in the game where the game would just crash on you. And I fixed two of the spots. 
But I didn't fix the third one that I didn't know existed, which happens right at the very end of the game. And it was the emotional part where Klonoa, Lolo and Bobka say their farewells. And uh, I was just on the brink of like breaking into tears. And then the game goes beep, beep. <laughs> And I'll never, I'll never be able to forget that now. The game's ruined for me forever. Whenever that scene happens now, I'll just remember that and I'll just be like, fuck, this, is, this scene's funny. Fuck, shit, no, stop. you also remember the numerous visual glitches. It was a weird time to be alive. Pretty, says I. Did you know Balan Wonderworld stole a bunch of its music from other instruments? True. Don't look up. Don't look it up. Just trust me. <laughs> okay. I mean... Okay. Fuck. Whatever. <laughs> That's him. That's green, dude. This doesn't look quite right. <laughs> fucking stupid. Green fell into a vat of vinegar and this and he came out looking like this. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's the Gimpch! Don't point don't point out it's the Gimpch, okay? He doesn't like that. This color scheme is too insane. This is like something from uh, Wizard of Oz. It's the mask. You know, right? It's funny you mentioned that. I actually had a dream about you, and you had the mask from the mask, and you didn't do anything with it. You put it on. You went wacky. And then you were just like, I'm bored of this now, and you threw it away. And I got really angry with you. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why I got angry. I just remember getting very angry. I was like, the fuck are you do- DUDE! <laughs> You're bored with this. I don't know, I'm just- I'm not into it now. It's like, you fucking- you put it on for two seconds! I woke up feeling very confused. It's like, that's not right. <laughs> Just not into it now, you know? It's not my jam. Oh my god. A completely blood red suit would be terrifying. If I somebody. <laughs> If I saw somebody walking around in a blood red suit, I would run. choose to do that. That was odd. Soaked by the blood of my enemy.
think I've done the... I've done the suit slightly wrong, but... Oh my god. <laughs> This is so fucked up, I hate this. Well. I... I'm sorry. I don't... I'm sorry. <laughs> this looked a lot better in my head, I promise. Uh, well, you know what we've got to do now. Blurst. Um, this is heckin' blursted. I've got a blursed dog. He's cursed and blessed. That's what make him blursed. The real Ghostbusters. Real in all caps. Save. I don't know what I'm holding. <laughs> it's like a tissue buff buffet. Uh, Blossom. Gotta run, see ya! Pep runs out of the room like Naruto. Thanks for stopping by, I'll see you soon! Well, that's that done. <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's hope the next one's a quickie, because both of those have taken over an hour to do. Okay, the next one is Lemmings Climbing All Over Stogabe by GW. I can do this one in time, I think. Should be okay. <laughs> GW, the, uh, this image is fucking amazing. You should use this next time. <laughs> you know, you're right. <laughs> you know what, you're right. I'm gonna save this as a PNG. Where did I put the real? There it is. The real Ghostbusters PNG. There we go. Save that for the future. Fucking. <laughs> Here looks like just the way you imagine it. Really. Kind of does look like this in real life. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you have points for a noble doodle redeem. <laughs> you second that idea. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Oh. Okay, we have. I think I can. I think I could squeeze in one more doodle. Me being covered in lemmings, I have a few ideas, but I'm gonna go for the one that's most comical. Originally, I was just gonna have it so I'm standing and I'm like flicking lemmings off of me, kind of like how Flink does in the iconic Flink game. But I think it'd be better if I did something like this. So here we go.
Stokeape, but he's the soldier guy on the cover of <laughs> Resident Evil 1. The OG Resident Evil cover. What's this song from? That's Balin. How come I don't remember? You can kind of guess what I'm going for here. Oh, I should do this also. Easier on the eyes. That's it. Okay. That's the easy bit done. Next bit is to have a line of lemmings walking up over this cliff and then bloop, they fall over the lemmings never ends yeah exactly that's what i was going for i'm covered in them i'm in a mountain <laughs> they even fested the doodles i'm covered in a mountain of lemmings. it's not good <laughs> i'm trapped they kind of smell like parsnips though it's not so bad but it is it is a problem i can't breathe it's not a joke. Oh, nose is way too big. That's a bit better. Yeah. Okay, that's one. Now I just gotta do 50 more. <laughs> Yeesh. Hold on, I should, before I do that, give myself a guideline to help. Yeah, like that. There. Help with the perspective. There is something else I could do, a bit cheeky, but it is an idea. I have two, and then I could easily just copy and paste these guys over and over again until I get to that point. Let's try it. Whoa, okay, it copied and pasted the whole thing. Hot damn, sugar bam, fuck. Not what I wanted. Yeah, that's better. Jeez. Jesus. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, this won't be so bad. There we go. And just have one here. Yeah, poking out from there. Cool. Yeah, that works out not so bad. All lemmings look the same anyway. So, yeah, cool. Wouldn't it be better if they were coloured first? Do you think so? I can colour them afterwards. I can go... Wouldn't it be better if they were coloured first? I don't know. I seem to... No, I think it's fine. Because I know what they are. Yeah, I know what they are. <laughs> Don't worry. I have done this for 81 episodes. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what you're doing. What are you talking about? Yeah, I do. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I just wanted to contradict. I just wanted to piss you off. Don't worry. Perfect. Oh, I see what you mean by coloring them first, so then I wouldn't have to do it individually now. Ah, yeah, there you go. I wasn't thinking ahead. Ah, it's fine. Won't take too long. Okay, the giant mound is going to be interesting to do. It needs to be entirely blue, but there is an effect I can do that will help us to uh, make it more lemonsy. Their skin is white in the game, so I will just leave it. Okay, time for the weird effect. For this, I'm going to need to increase my brush size to 30. And I'm going to need to make it white. here and there. Now I have to put them everywhere, just in like these little colonies. That's perfect. Okay, take their hair color. And then 
you'll want to put blobs not directly above it, but somewhat above them. And not exactly above the spots. As long as it's... As long as the x-axis is higher on the white spot, it doesn't really matter where you stick it. This is a trick they used to use during the pop art movement. A lot of early comic books would use this trick. Well, it's not really a trick, but it's an easy, lazy way to uh, convey crowds without actually drawing people. You take the two primary colours that are distinct from the main primary colour, if they have them, and just create dots in small clusters. And it'll represent a crowd or a mass. There you go. Worked like a charm. I'm covered in limos! Next. Well, that's a bit too dark. Let's make that brighter. Yeah, that's nice. Green, 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 green. Green, 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 dude. Green, 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 dude, dude. Restrink. Restrink? Uh, restrict the palette back down to 8 pixels is what I'm used to using because I like chunky fat fucking pixels with no smoothing objective drone <laughs> stoke yippee You know how they say you can hear images? Well... God, why do I keep doing that? It's not the option I want. My brain is on autopilot. <laughs> Lemmings bite! Holy fuck! It's gonna hurt. There's millions of them on me. <laughs> They're everywhere. Lemmings are killing you. They kill us. They kill us cornflakes. What the hell am I gonna do for the background? really know. Oh, I know. I know what to do. It'll take a bit of time, but it'll be fun. No cliffs with more lemmings. 
Yeah, kind of, but it won't take too long because the perspective is going to be really far back. Whoops. So I'll just do the blob trick. And it'll make it look like they've come a long way just to kill me. Okay, let's make that the same color as these cliffs. Whoops. And the same color as these greens. Nice. We can make the background black, actually, because in the classic games, the classic Lemon games, the backgrounds were pure black. There was no color. Sometimes you'd be lucky and you could get, like, a muted green, red, maybe a blue, but it was predominantly black. So this uh, this lines up with um, Lemming lore. So let me get my pixels up to 30 again. But this time, instead of white and green, Actually, these pick that pixel would be too big. Twenty. Let's try twenty. Yeah, twenty. And then we're gonna do something a bit fun. Reduce this down to eight again, and <laughs> looks like the bridges they make. And because it's always white against the black background, this works so well. Ooh, we're doing good. Get that blue back. Pixels back to 20 again. 20. Like that trick though, we're gonna have to make these blobs uh, actually sit on top of each other. But this will be the last touch. <laughs> I like this. This is fun. That came out really well. It's fucking morbid, but it is fun. So they start from over there, they made the bridges, they've come, they've looped around off camera. Awesome. Portfolio. 
I don't know why I call it portfolio. I'm never going to show this to anybody. Anybody important, I mean. Death. By. Lemush. Nice. The lemmings have had enough. <laughs> They're in charge now. No, you are the lemming. Yahoo! Um, yippee. Raises eyebrow. Get ready for the new DreamWorks movie. It's lemmings. But this time, they're the ones in charge. The next one's fun, but I won't have enough time. I've only got 10 minutes. But I will take this time now to add the two uh, doodle requests I've been given today. This one was by Pipper Me Buble. And the other one was Green It. That uh, green dude. Naughty five. The next one on the list would have been Nipsu is being chased by a crab. Nipsu being sniff from the Moomins, but I got nine minutes. I don't have enough time, so we're going to have to cut it short today. Uh, not a problem. Not a problem. Stop music. It's been a good, it's been a good stream. Not bad. Usually do about four, but I've done three. One image an hour. Yeah, I'm slowly catching up. Or maybe I'm stuck at this pace forever. Who knows?